it's a little noisy here, but we're going to try to get through this really fast. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to find your own cross on Stellarium. Below this video in the description box is a link for Stellarium. In that link is a PDF manual on how to use it, a link for your Android, your iMac, your Linux, or any of your Windows OS operating systems. When you first turn on Stellarium, launch the bottom taskbar. Coming from the right, going to the left, we're going to come across here to the meteor showers and turn that off. In the next set of symbols, you'll see a lightning bolt. We're going to turn that one on. Then we're going to come across to the sun peeking out behind the clouds. That's your atmosphere, your cardinal points, your landscape. Turn all of that off. In the last set of symbols, you'll see a running man icon. Turn that one on. Uh, then you come to the left-hand taskbar. Going all the way to the top, you'll find an eight-pointed star. It's a symbol for Mercury. Mercury rules navigation. Uh, in that, you'll find a search bar. Just simply type in the city you want. Let's go to uh, Los Angeles. And there are plenty of them. Let's go to Los Angeles, United States. Make sure the red arrows pointed in the correct place. Come back down to the little running man icon and make sure the name of the city is over his head. Then you can X this box out. If you type your city in here and it is not listed, you have to go to Google and get the coordinates that you will see here and put them in manually. You will put the name of the city, uh, what country it's in, uh, click on the correct time zone that goes with it, and then add it to the list. When you add it to the list, uh, the next time you come, it will be there. Uh, after, come back to the left-hand taskbar, right below the eight pointed stars, the clock. It tells you when. So we're gonna jump back. You just hold down on the little tab and it'll roll you back to whatever year it is you need, uh, the month, the day, the hour, the minute, and the second. Then come back to the left hand taskbar to the search tool icon, type in the sun, and off you go. Uh, the date is July the 14th, 1973 at 835 in the morning, and this person is born a Gemini with the sun conjunct Pollux. Mercury in Cancer. Venus and Leo, Uranus and Pluto, both in uh, Virgo, Neptune in Libra, uh, the moon, the uh, moon sign is on the mutable cross opposite the sun on Gemini, uh, to Jupiter in Capricorn. To find the rising sign, you simply come back down here uh, turn on the landscape and the cardinal points. Uh, to get a perfect rising sign, you need to come over here uh, to right below the clock, uh, the little box with the stars and planets on it, and click on landscape. Then click zero horizon. That'll take away all of the, and you can get a perfect thing. You find east for your rising sign, and where the zodiac is. So east is here. The zodiac, it would be Leo rising. So this person would be sun sign, Gemini on the mutable cross. Uh, moon sign, Sagittarius on the mutable cross. Uh, but rising sign, Leo at the foot of the fixed cross. I can almost see how this story already plays out. I've done so many charts. And that's how you find your signs. Now, a lot of you, I do get this question often, so let me go ahead and answer it. It's about the logistics over here. IAU Constellation will tell you uh, whatever you click on. Venus is in Constellation of Leo. Uh, this is done, as you can see, it's done on sidereal time. You have the sidereal period and the sidereal day. Okay? So this is working with the sidereal. It's where the planets actually are if you look up in the sky at night. I challenge you, uh, the next time that the, sun, uh, the moon is in 
Orion, go outside and look up. They'll tell you it's in Orion, but it'll be in a different constellation. Look for yourself. See with your own eyes. And then you'll see what this Babylonian priesthood has done to everybody. They've double-crossed everybody. At least 23 out of 30 of you. And that is how you find your own cross. Now, a lot of you, when you come in, you don't have these logistics. Come over here to the, the ranch with the little star. Click on it. And go to information. And when you first come on, it's either here. It's short or none. You can customize it and put what you want down here. Uh, or you can just have them all. That way you have your ecliptic, your longitude, your latitude, your constellation, uh, your illumination. It's all here. And the PDF manual will tell you how to translate every bit of that. And that, my friends, is how you find your cross. Now, I will go through them. Uh, let's just start with Pisces because that's the age we're in. If your son is in Pisces, you are on the feminine axis of the mutable cross. Your ruling planet is Jupiter. If you are an Aries, you are cardinal fire on the cardinal cross. Your ruling planet is Mars. Your ruling element is fire. Pisces, your ruling element is water. Taurus, your ruling element is Earth. You are on the fixed cross. Your ruling planet is Venus. Feminine axis of the fixed cross. Aries, masculine axis of the cardinal cross. Gemini, uh, masculine axis of the mutable cross. Ruled by Mercury, air sign. Mutable. Cancer, cardinal. Ruled by the moon, cardinal water on the cardinal cross for cancer leo fixed cross fixed fire ruled by the sun uh, mercury mutable cross feminine axis ruled by mercury mutable libra is the cardinal cross it's cardinal air ruled by venus scorpio cardinal i mean fixed water ruled by mars Fixed cross, mutable cross for Sagittarius, ruled by Jupiter, masculine axis. Capricorn, feminine axis, cardinal cross, ruled by Saturn. And Aquarius, the fixed cross, the man on the fixed cross, ruled by Saturn, fixed air. And that is your sign, you go. Cardinal, uh, we start off mutable, fixed, cardinal. Mutable, fixed, cardinal. So that should answer all of your questions. Uh, I'm at this time not taking any chart requests. I hope all of you learn to do this yourself. Uh, but this will uh, hold a lot of you until I can get there. You need to learn to do this anyway. It's part of taking up your cross and follow the Lamb, Thalem, the Master, daily. Learn to carry your own cross. Know thyself. What you see above you is what is within you. And be the best that you can be. This thing is duality. It shows you the best of you and then the worst of you. And you make the choice as to what you will become. But this is your potential. Not the cross the world has given you do I give you.